If you find yourself being an adventure fundi and you like to explore the deep, dark secrets of the world, then get your adventure gear because it's time to begin the hunt. The hunt for the truth. This is the moment of truth. With Jesse Clegg, uh, he's our guest uh, this morning and uh, we're going to be putting him through his paces. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Jesse, here's the thing. So, in spirit of your up-and-coming international tour, right, you're going to be doing a bit of travelling. Yep. So, what yep. we're going to do is we thought it's fitting to put you in scenarios that you might find yourself yeah. in one day, all right? Okay. And you have to answer truthfully. Yeah. All right. We'll I'll try. Here's I'll try. the first one. You get on the plane to go to the United States. It's a very long flight, 12 hours. Yeah. And you sit next to the most comfortable people with themselves, which makes it uncomfortable for you. And just as yeah, you take off... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as you, right. as you take off, the yeah. guy in front of you pulls his chair back, boom, and takes the longest nap in the world. What do you do? <laughs> do you, A, loudly make your discomfort heard uh, for the entire 12 hours, like, <laughs> you know, whatever you need to do? Or do you ask the air hostess uh, or one of the air hostesses to please sort it out for you? Because as an artist, you need to be well rested when you get to your gig, you know? Or do you just uh, wait until the person falls fast asleep and at some point shake their chair violently, go, oh, we're going down, we're going down! <laughs> What do you do? Um, I think a, <laughs> maybe a combination of those. <laughs> a combination of those. Yeah. Well, which combination? I think I would one? go. I would start with trying to make my discomfort as unpleasant for them as possible. Yeah, one of those. <coughs> I would like <coughs> cough on on them. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I'm sure that. Okay, cool. Good one though. So now you've landed. You're in New York, and you're at a, one of these uh, local cafes, uh, coffee shops, and um, it accuses someone mistakes you for a very popular Latino star. All right, I'll ask you for your photograph. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> what do you do? A. Admit in English that you are not who they think they are, uh, think you are, and deal with their disappointment. <laughs> B. Nod along, take a few pics, and sign whatever they give you. You might even f score a free coffee. All right. <laughs> C. Admit you are not who they think you are, but rather his long lost twin. All right. And you have come to America to find him and be reunited. You know, after being split. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Oh uh, man. <laughs> I would just ride the wave, like, man. Like, oh my god, it's Pablo, Pablo. Yeah, just ride yeah, it, yeah, man. That's get me. get that's some me. free stuff, you know, <laughs> sign some stuff, get some high fives. Uh, you know what they fun. say, when opportunity knocks, don't <laughs> knock the opportunity. Uh, so you're about to play the last song in a nightclub in Texas, in Houston, Texas, you know, and then the power fails. So what do you do? Do you, like any other South African, make an appropriate and very funny SCOM joke? <laughs> or do you end the show right there, thank everyone, and then go and cry in the corner as a disappointed artist? Or do you ask the crowd to raise their lighters in the air while you perform in a acoustic version of that last track? Um, I don't know, man. If the light, if the power goes out, you ha it, it, it's such, everyone's like freaking out because you can get shocked on stage and <laughs> anything can go wrong, man. I, I just kind of leave it be and I walk off. Like. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jesse holding his guitar, just like fading to the background like this. Yeah. There's no light I've, anyway, actually, so. I've actually been shocked on stage from a mic when, when the power comes back on, you, you get such a jolt. So I, really? I just, now I'm just like, there the... I'm out, give me some power and I'll play, man. <laughs> <laughs> it goes out, you fade. All right, yeah. cool. <laughs> Last one. You are traveling back to South Africa, right? And SA Customs stop you. And as you, as you unpack your bag, you realize that you've actually packed a whole bag of fresh tea leaves. <laughs> ah, from downtown New York. All right, what do you do? Hey, <laughs> hey, you nervously try to pull the attention away from the contents of your bag by trying to pass flattering remarks to the officer. <laughs> My shoes, officer. Yeah. B, you nervously <laughs> try to explain that uh, it's only tea leaves, you swear, and hope that they will believe you. Or C, <laughs> you, you flat out deny that you put it there and insist that someone must have framed you for those tea leaves. <laughs> this is very yeah, You guys are stereotyping musicians here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, what would you do? Um, <clears throat> I, would, I would try and distract as much as possible, man. I would just compliment his <laughs> shoes and compliment every... Uh, just get away from the bag. I'd and just, at the end of the day, you'll go, would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, dude, it's been such great fun having you here. Yeah, we really wish you all of the best with the Thank two. I'm so sure much, it's going to be all super successful. Yeah. Fantastic. So that was the moment of truth with Jesse <laughs> Click right now. Let's find out what else is coming up in the last little bit of the show.